All right, so this monster that I've picked, um, it shouldn't be hard to draw, but it's going to be hard to listen about. I'm very oh, sorry, everyone. <laughs> great. Get ready to be borgasmed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's more that it's not very it's nice. disgusting, isn't it? Yeah, okay. It, it's pretty disgusting. And you will hear. So this monster is called a gibbering mouther. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a photo of myself and send it to you as the result. <laughs> I've been called a gibbering mouther heaps. Have you? Uh, no. <laughs> I was going to say, I fucking hope not in this context because you'll be very sad. So, a gibbering mouther. These weird creatures appear as blobs composed entirely of mouths with razor sharp oh. teeth. Oh. And many, many eyes. Now, when the eyes and mouths are closed, they look like large lumps of earth or large lumps of flesh. Oh, come on, guys. (laughs) Yuck. (laughs) The gibbering mouther moves by fastening several of its mouths to the ground. I hate this already. (laughs) (laughs) Yep. Yep, and you should. It locks many of its mouths to the ground and basically pulls its putrid bulk behind it with its mouths. Yuck. Okay, so obviously doing this disgusting creature, it doesn't move very quickly. On land, at least. But in the water and um, in mud and even in quicksand, it can move quite quickly because it is a bit more blobby and gelatinous-like. So... Gibbering mouthers are not believed to be natural creatures. What a fucking surprise that is to everyone. <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> a surprise to no one. These things are fucking gross. You know, there's a few theories about how they were created, but the popular theory is that they had been created through some kind of foul sorcery. Yeah, some some perverted wizard was like, oh, I wonder what it would be like to be <laughs> gobbied by my own little flesh potato. <laughs> and it all went horribly wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Some sages actually believe that they are sentient creatures that basically they believe that a sentient creature had died in a place touched by the far realm. The far realm is basically a plane of madness. And what makes this thing even worse? The creature itself actually consists and is made up of all of the creatures it has previously consumed. I'm, I hate these monsters that keep assimilating things <laughs> and yep. retaining that. So, you know, it's just killed, a lan- say, a lantana gnome. It now, the gnome that it's killed, this poor rock gnome, it now has a mouth from the rock gnome and a set of its eyes from that creature. Oh, my God. So they're actually all-consuming. So gibbering mouthers are never not hungry. So they are driven through whatever fucking sorceries or, I don't know, maybe like a wizard or a sorcerer, probably even a warlock, had hit the tins too hard and were like, fuck it, let's go. I'm going to make this gross fucking thing. Mm-hmm. You know? <laughs> and, and that's what they came up with, you know? So they're, they're driven to devour any creature in reach. Oh, my God. When a gibbering mouther actually senses its prey, its mouths, each of its mouths, begin to murmur and chatter. And they... Yep, they all sound different, though, Maz. Oh, yeah. You might hear some shrill noises, some deep, like, guaffling noises. You might hear some... (laughs) You might hear some crying. You might hear agony and ecstasy coming out of its disgusting mouths. I mean, if you haven't switched off already, listeners slash viewers... Get ready for this next bit. (laughs) Now, imagine how they procreate. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God, no. The sounds of the chattering can actually psychically affect the creatures it's hunting, right? So it can cause them to run away, which would be my thing. I'd be like, nope, and I'd be fucking on my way. I'd be out of there. I'd have energy legs and I'd be bounding away. (laughs) It can also, because it's so frightening, cause um, its prey to become paralyzed. On top of that, if we were standing next to each other and it lets out this shrill, like mentally flapping um, cry, it can actually even turn creatures against each I other. So, it. yeah. So you could even be so scared that you'd be like, no, nope, and just turn around and punch me in the face. <laughs> no. <Nope. laughs> Bang. <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, I'd be like, oh, mate. <laughs> the mouther. It's mouthed you. It's mouthing. <laughs> and 
just when you don't think it's got enough shit to fuck you up, it also can spit at you, Maz. <laughs> oh, no. Why? <laughs> and what does it spit at you? What do you think this thing spits at you? Oh, probably acid of some sort. I, I kind of think it's worse. Oh. It basically spits goo that explodes with flashes of light that blinds you. So it spits flashbangs at you so it's easier <laughs> to, to fucking catch you and eat you. I mean, you've got to give them props for being <laughs> really committed to the bit, you know? <laughs> They're committed yeah. to the bit. They're ready for it. And as soon as it eats its last prey, it engulfs the entire thing and nothing is left behind. The last thing that you would see is the face of the creature that is just eaten slowly bubble to the surface in a oh. massive screams. <laughs> <laughs> Look, props. <laughs> well, well done, Mather. You are the worst thing we've heard about so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's definitely got the crown. And believe it or not, there are cults and powerful wizards and spellcasters that keep these things as guardians. Okay. I thought you were going to say it was like gobby pets, but no, guardians, that works. Gobby pets? Gobby pets. We, we're having a long, hard talk about what your, where your brain is at after this episode. I've told you, I'm not going into therapy. I'm, I refuse. <laughs> In 1367 DR, a wizard called Shond Tharavan was cursed by an archmage called Yund Shalshima and permanently actually changed into a giving, gibbering mouther, which is pretty fucked. I mean, if you've got powerful magic, you turn him into a gibbering mouther. That's a bad enough pun- punishment. But old mate Shond, he got turned into a gibbering mouther that is actually 12 miles long. Do we need one of those in the world? I mean, easy to avoid. You see it coming and you'd be like, old mate's over there gibbering around <laughs> yeah it's like a it's like um a fucking mouth town <laughs> just <laughs> cruising around welcome to mouth town <laughs> yeah. that is the gibbering mouther i'm not going to ask you if you had a good time with that because it, that was pure horror we we all know what everyone feels but also <laughs> a little bit curious you know <laughs> <laughs> you ready to present some mouther <laughs> Oh mouth, my mate. god, there it is. <laughs> there she <laughs> is. <laughs> the undermouth is amazing. Having a bit of a... D- <laughs> is that a... Is that- it's, a, it's puckering its lips, it's not an anus. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> good. You knew me. what I was... Is that the... <laughs> you knew what I was looking at straight away. I knew. <laughs> So that is a, I mean, that is a great fucking effort there. It's horror. I can't stop looking at it. Yeah, that's my that's my little gobby potato for you. <laughs> <laughs> we got to get through an episode where we don't say gobby. <laughs> Good luck. Stop trying to make gobbies a thing, guys, is what everyone says. <laughs> they are a thing. It's too late. It's the new fetch, you, guys. Are you ready to see some art of one of these? Yeah, show things? me what it should have looked like. Oh, look. Not even far off. Am I right? No. Not far off at all. It's pretty close to yours. They get grosser. They get grosser? Oh, they do get grosser. Look at this guy. Get back in the seat. What? It's lost one of its eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's horrendous. That's not a fun one. <laughs> Look at this weird, like, eye stalk thing. Yeah, it's, it's also going. like, did it eat a snail? And <laughs> what's yes. going on? Oh, nah, I mean, this... Is given some gobby potato. That guy on the right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's given some. It gobby looks like potato. he's running. He does. Yeah, he yeah he's like doing he's an running. octopus under the sea. Shit, I'm not into it. Mm. He's. Yeah. It's too smart. <laughs> there you go. They're basically as horrible as you thought, and as I explained, and as you drew. Yeah. So well done. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs>